Recently, I went on a trip and I was pleasantly surprised that electric mobility has already become a way of life in the cities I visited. My experience as an electric tourist included kick scooter services from Bird, Lime, and Lyft, as well as my ultimate favorite, the Revel service with mopeds made by Neo. Now, I chose not to get a rental car when I came to downtown Austin. I decided there is a vast amount of e-mobility solutions here, so let's take advantage. This service, Revel, is available here in Austin and in a total of six different cities. But the interesting thing is that they don't have a retail store here in Austin, so you can only rent these right now. But in other cities like Los Angeles, they do have a flagship store where you can buy one of these. And that sounds pretty interesting. Now this Neo here is part of the NQI series, which means that you have a range of about 30 miles up to about 100 miles. Your recharge time is anywhere from two hours to seven hours, depending on what kind of specs you have here. This thing is fast. The torque is 65 Newton meters, which is equivalent to about 50 pound feet of torque. Pretty good for a small little scooter. And with regenerative braking, it recycles 6% of the battery capacity back into the system. These new NQI series scooters are powered by the Panasonic lithium-ion cells, the same 18650 cell that the Tesla Model S has. Since it's part of the Revel service, it doesn't allow you to change modes, but this here would allow you to go through three different modes. The first mode is energy saving for extended range. Mode two is optimized for speed and driving range, kind of your combination. Mode number three is the priority for speed over range. That'll give you the most performance. When I rent a car, I'm always worried about the liability, parking, and returning them with a full tank of gas. Driving in a new city can be stressful and isolating. This is where electric mobility comes in. I can ride on paths, sidewalks, or the streets without getting sweaty, and I can leave the scooter or moped wherever I want to. What a treat to park, walk, and explore a few blocks, and take another vehicle whenever I'd like without retracing my steps. Now what you have to do with these new bikes is you have to download the Revel app. You put in your payment, you'll put your email in, you'll submit your driver's license, and then they'll take a picture of your face just to verify you. After that, you're gonna want to watch a series of training videos that shows you how to operate it, but also the common safety practices. Then you unlock the bike for about a dollar, and then you're charged per minute. We're gonna hop on and take a ride around. Electric mopeds offer the reliability and app integration which makes this service possible. The onboard GPS allows the Revel team to find mopeds left in strange places and to swap out batteries when they run low. <laughs> the torque on this thing is insane. Oh my God, and it's so quiet. This is amazing. With at least a thousand Rebel mopeds in Austin, they have the scale to make it work for around 30 cents per minute or $11 for a day pass. What a deal. I'm cruising at 22 miles an hour, but you can tell this thing goes whip. I thought this scooter would feel a lot heavier than it actually is because of the batteries, but it's not bad. I used to have a Honda Metropolitan, but this thing, wow, it is so fun to drive. The one thing that is very different is that it is silent and it is smooth. When you turn the throttle, there is no delay on launching. This is the perfect way to see a city. There's this thing called EV Grin, and I can definitely confirm, I have EV Grin. 